Hey, what's up folks? Welcome to Reef Under the Loop Shorts and Kapoor series. Today, in our second episode, we're talking about tank stability. We cannot talk about tank stability and not mention temperature salinity and alkalinity. With current technology, keeping temperature salinity has been pretty easy for reefers these days. If you're looking to dip your toes into SPS corals, acroporas, alkalinity is going to be a parameter that you're going to have to deal with on a regular basis. Let's talk temperature. Around 78 degrees has been a golden medal for reefers for years now. Purchase the best quality heaters and temperature controllers that you can afford. I like to get multiple heaters instead of one big one and calibrate my temperature controller and my heaters with multiple thermostats. I have always been preferring heaters that are reliable and they have thermostat on them since that thermostat can be back up on top of my temperature controller. Always a good habit as far as heaters and temperature controllers go is to replace them once a year. You can use a chiller to cool your tank down but my preferred way for years has been to use a fan instead. Salinity. Keep your salinity around 35 and again purchase the highest quality ATO system that you can afford. Good practice is to clean that ATO sensor often. I clean mine every single time I do my water change and use a spray bottle with RDI water and make sure that sensor is nice and clean. As far as measuring salinity goes, I'll try to stay away from cheap hydrometers and go with a refractometer and every single time before you use it, make sure that it's calibrated. Alkalinity is next on the list. That's the one we test most often and I usually test mine at minimum twice a week. And after testing alkalinity, if you need to do any change to alkalinity level, always do minor changes. If you guys like to do bigger water changes, make sure to match that alkalinity from that freshly made salt water to your tank water. If you would like to keep that alkalinity as stable as possible, pay attention on your pH, since pH is what drives alkalinity, and if you keep your pH stable, your alkalinity will be as stable. No matter which method you're using to dose that alkalinity, check your lines, check your equipment, and check those jugs to make sure that they're full. Use a hobbyist to keep your parameters in appropriate range and keeping them stable within that range. I prefer that some of my parameters are slightly off, but within that appropriate range, as long as they're stable. Stability is key. Every single time after you guys are done with your testing, make sure to look at your calls, look at your tank. If everything is looking good and something is slightly off, always do minor adjustments. If something is wildly off, make sure to double check that before you do any major changes. Take your time, order a new test kit, as long as your coral is looking good, you should be a happy camper. If you guys would like to hear more from me, check out the rest of the episodes from my Kapoor series in the description down below. With all that out of the way, see you guys next video. Peace.